What's happening with it? It's your boy T Mafiani, man, and we back with another reaction video. You feel what I'm talking about? Look, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share this video. You feel what I'm saying? Look, uh, today we got uh, Charleston White speaking on Dr. Umar. Uh, we just finna dive right into it, man. Let's see what he's talking about. I wasn't gonna say nothing. I wasn't gonna say a motherfucking thing. Hmm. But where do Dr. Umar Johnson get now saying? People with emotional trauma like the fuck. Emotionally <laughs> damaged people are always sexually promiscuous. This nigga just making up shit now. This nigga said, you know, listen, I'm telling you, people with nigga, this nigga just making up shit now. Everybody like the fuck. Nigga, nigga dogs like the fuck. Nigga, it's, <laughs> listen. Bro, it's People, if people with emotional it, trauma need to be validated by other people. That's why they like to fuck. Validation, uh, nigga, nigga, what, man? Just say, I'm saying this. You nigga, listen to Umar Johnson say, Jay, man, you nigga, stupid. Think about what this nigga saying. <laughs> the nigga saying that black people got so much emotional trauma that they like to calm. Well, why the white man like fuck? She had you talking about <laughs> bro, come on, come bro. back and fuck everybody. The dog, man. the slave, the slave woman, nigga, please. Man, Master William, get drunk with all the emotional intelligence in the world and even fuck the dog. Nigga, what is Dr. Umar Johnson be making up some shit now? It's already bad enough the boy called himself a doctor and we don't know what PhD he got. It's already <laughs> bad enough the boy called himself a doctor and the man don't practice nowhere. Where the nigga office at? He the only doctor I know ain't got a doctor's office. I'm sick of this nigga. No, no, no. Say, I challenge Dr. D D Umar to a duel. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> bro, I'm to terrible, a duel, bro. nigga. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> me and you meet somewhere in a town with two guns, stand back to back, walk 12 feet, and turn around and shoot at each other, nigga. Yeah, we we, we selling this once and for all. I challenge, doctor, I challenge this nigga to a duel, nigga, a real live duel in a redneck town somewhere, in one of them rural towns, nigga, where they, yeah, nigga, they probably won't even have you a funeral. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> bro, come on. Bro. No, listen, I sat and I listened to this shit, and then I thought about it. I said, well, maybe he right. Then I think about all the times, nigga, man, hell no, nah, nigga, they're just trying to bust a nut. Nigga, it had nothing to do with no <laughs> And by the way, simpster, this nigga simp, no man fucks with emotions. You've been talking to them hoes. Nah. <laughs> this whole talk. Nigga, this nigga done tied emotions nah. to our dick. Why they do that? Nigga, there ain't no emotions tied to a nigga dick. <laughs> Nigga's trying yeah, to wow. get healing through his dick. No, we ain't. Nigga, please. Yeah. Niggas down there half ass sick with that dick, perverted with that dick. Pray, Nigga trying to wild. get him one off. Nigga ain't trying to be validated. Nigga trying to get snot knocked from that motherfucker. Nigga talking about validated. Bro, what is this? Please, I'm trying to get snot knocked out that motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with no validation. Nigga, please. Bruh. Alright, man. Let me get y'all my take on the video, man. Hey. Charles did wild, man. I don't know what this. I don't know what he got going on. Um, you know, uh, you know, he he funny as hell though. I gotta give him that. He funny as hell. Um, in regards to the Doctor Umar thing, and as far as what he's saying, um, I I agree with Doctor Umar to a degree, um, because he he's not necessarily saying that. They want to have sex. He's just saying that they're promiscuous. So I can understand where he's coming from with that. And that still can turn into the term of wanting to have sex. You get what I'm saying? Of them saying that. But at the same time, I think that, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Umar is coming from, from, uh, from, I, I think there is some, some truth to what he's saying. Um, but I mean, now, do I say that everybody enjoys everybody enjoys? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, who who wouldn't? You get what I'm saying. So that's a obvious. But he's saying that people that have been emotionally traumatized are more promiscuous. So they're more, you know, uh, 
they're more, you know what I'm saying, I would say more susceptible to being more promiscuous than others. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I can see where he's coming from. So on this one, I don't really agree with Charleston on this one. But it was funny, though. It was funny, though. I got to give it to him on that. It was funny, though. But I do think Dr. Umar got a point to a degree on what he's saying on just, you know, if you if you if you gone through emotional trauma, then you are likely to be a little bit more promiscuous. I agree with that aspect. People are, you know, going through, tra you know, women going through trauma. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I can agree with that. Um, but the whole thing that Charles is saying, he wasn't really necessarily lying, so I can't say he was lying about what he was saying. It was funny, but he did reach a little bit. You get what I'm saying on 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 what Dr. Umar was saying. I get what he was. I get where he was trying to go with it, but he was reaching a little bit. You get what I'm saying. But I do agree what he what he was saying. Um, but um, when we take a look at the whole them dueling or whatever, I think he. I think Charleston was just being funny about it. You know what I'm saying. But uh, you know it is what it. You know it is what it is. But. Um, that would be crazy to see Dr. Umar and Charleston White debate each other. You get what I'm saying? You know, just see a, a honest debate. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I think, you know, do it for the internet. You know what I'm saying? Do it. And I'm not saying doing it, do it for the internet, but in front of the internet, you get what I'm saying? Um, I think it'd be good for the culture, uh, for these two brothers to sit down and actually go into depth on what exactly they're trying to accomplish so we can really see who's you know who's uh journey and path that they're you know whose journey and path is is more so aligned with the culture and what the culture needs in order to elevate so we can see okay who's in it really for themselves you get what i'm saying or something like that you get what i'm saying so uh, that's my take on the video. Uh, make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share this video. We finna get up out of here, man. Let's get to it.